What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I present to you Paper Mario! What a game! Why am I talking to you, Toad? I don't really want to talk to you. Yes, Dry Dry ruins his past uh, Mount Rugged and that's where you're going to go on the other side of the mountain, yada yada yada. He basically just told us our uh, mission objective. Good job, Toad. You actually have proven yourself worthy. In the last episode, we went through pretty much an intermission uh, episode where we found out that uh, Princess Peach was reading Bowser's diary. Technically, Twink was, but Princess Peach was sitting there getting all the juicy gossip. And we found out that there is a honorable star spirit locked up in the Dry Dry Ruins, which is in Dry Dry Desert, which is on the other side of Mount Rugged. In order to get there, we need to take the town train to get to Mount Rugged and then cross it and whatnot. Why am I back way back this way? Uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit over yonder because we have this awesome guy standing right next to Merlon's house. This is Chuck Quizmo. He is our resident quiz master, and what he has to offer us are 64, because this is from the 64 age, haha, uh, different star pieces. So let us give him a talk. Quiz! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting question correctly, then yeah, 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 I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Absolutely. And every time I find Tr Chuck, you will see what the correct answer is, because Chuck will ask you questions based on how far you have gone into the game. So, after every chapter, he will appear with a new set of quizzes, but he will always ask you them in the same order. So then, let's go to the question! Woo! Question 1! What is the name of Goombario's younger sister? Of course, if you remember this from being in Goomba Village not too long ago and everything, you would remember that Goombario's uh, sister is Goombari. Uh, of course, you can kind of bounce back and forth or whatever, but this is the right answer. I'm pretty sure you have almost unlimited time to answer these. Also, I like the fact that Luigi is in the bottom left corner and Yoshi is in the bottom right. So we have a whole audience checking us out. Oh, there's a Koopa Bro right next to uh, Luigi as well. Snuck in here like the Ninja Turtle he is. Haha, <laughs> see, I'm learning. Answer! Woohoo! We did it! Correct! Congratulations! Here is your star piece! Yahoo! Yes! Awesome! You've correctly answered one question so far! Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again! And then he, like, implodes into his own hat and whatnot, so that was exciting, that was entertaining, that was really cool to watch, actually. So we will be running into Chuck quite often as we go through the game. We got here. What do we got? We got multi bounce. I wish I had 70. I probably would have bought, bought that. Um, the badge guy will also gain new stock of badges as you go through the game. That's why there's actually nothing here. Normally, he will always have three badges in a row. He has a very limited stock by the time you reach the end of the game. And of course, most of the stuff that he sells are unique badges. So you just gotta wait until he restocks as uh, the game goes on. Thing with Chuck Quizmo also is that I don't know why I switched to Goombario. I guess I just I knew what the question was. So I figured it would be appropriate to have uh, Bombette out. Um, the thing with Chuck Quizmo is if you get the question wrong and then you find him again, he will ask you the same question. But it will actually kind of mess up your stats a little bit. And I'll explain that uh, once we get done with Dry Dry Ruins. First things first that we have to do, though, is there is the train over here and the little conductor toad right here, who also has a black hat, kind of like what the Koopa Bros look like. So I guess black is not really a weird color for toads. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's ruined, done for, a huge rock is blocking the train tracks, because apparently the Toads have no uh, demolition capabilities whatsoever. Which is weird, considering we live in a world where explosives are living beings. Right, my dear Bombat? That's what I thought. Come on, you. Let's put your talent to good work. And chuck! And boom! Hey, Bombetti! Boom, ba boom, ba Yeah! Good job. Back over here, we're going to talk to the Conductor Toad and say thank you, Mario. Train's back on track. It's always on the same track. Haha, <laughs> but I'm cha. Sorry. Uh, this train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming? Of course I am. So let's board the train. Hop on. I guess he technically wasn't the Conductor. He was just a guy getting passengers on and off. Which is weird considering he's telling us to sit tight, folks. Yeah, there's two people on the train, but hey, there's no seats. Uh, because poor Bobette's standing on the back platform of this single car train, and Mario is just chilling right next to the conductor, the driver of the train, or whatever. 
Also, the train is spouting out star-shaped clouds. That is cute. Sure, why not? Moving right along, this train is going to take us to Mount Rugged. I don't... Can I skip this? Nope, nope, I can't skip it. I'm hitting buttons, and nothing is skipping. I'm pretty sure I can skip it later on. Like, this is like a watch once, and that's it. You don't have to see it anymore. But we now are starting Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Silhouette of the star that we're going to be running into, and the boss enemy of this chapter. Pulling into the station. That was a fun ride, a little boring, not much conversation from our conductor toad, but hey, what can you do? And Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged. Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to be trekking up and over the mountain. You're an interesting little toad. What do you got to say for yourself? I'm going to go to Dry Dry Desert. You'll have to hike over Mount Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboard so you don't get lost. There's not really too many ways to get lost. Scary creatures here. Oh, that's right. There are new characters here. So, Goombario, come on out. Because I will be needing your assistance as we move along. Anything else good in these things? A coin. Nice to collect some coins because I'd like to collect some badges later. Ooh, who are you? Ooh, you got the egg. An egg of unknown origin. I'm going to take that to Tasty and make... Uh, an omelette, or sunny side up, or hard boiled. Technically, I don't even like eggs, but you can make them into all types of yummy things. We do have a block right here that when Mario hits, it gives him the willies, so we can't do anything with that right now. So let's just continue following the arrows over here. Oh, uh, no. Confounded. Where could it be? What? Who says that? Ow! You jerk! Watch where you're flying! Oh! Sorry, folks! I'm very sorry! I was looking for something and not watching where I was going! What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are! You're THE Mario! Uh, hello there! Hey, buddy, what's going on? The name's Eric Harry! I deliver letters! Um... I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it? I dropped it on Mount Rugged, and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. No, you won't, you jerk. You're not going to be searching thoroughly. You're going to be flying back and forth. If, if it's not here the first pass-through, it's not going to be here the 50th. Now, oh, whatever. Am I at full health? Yes, yeah, I'm at full everything. Very good. Almost at the next level. Very good. Okay, so moving right along, we have a bunch of new enemies and a bunch of new things in order to see and do. First off, we have this slide right over here, to which we will jump up and up and go down. This is kind of like a, a, a tutorial or a for example type of piece that shows you what it is uh, you'll be using to solve some of the puzzles around here. So, just grab that, grab some coins, and continue to move along. It's Monty Moles! Monty Moles, get away from me! Get away from me! Yeah, first strike, eat it! Bonk. I only did one damage? Really? Oh, that sucks. Tattle on them, please. This is a Monty Mole. Monty Moles are rock-throwing moles. Big-time mischief makers. Max HP 3, attack power 2, defense 0? Ugh, they have kind of a scary-looking face. They have kind of scary-looking faces. They're pretty weak, though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes? Or maybe they're just hip to the groove, yo. Yeah, because they're actually all wearing sunglasses right now, which makes sense considering, you know, they're supposed to be moles living their life underground and whatnot, so every time they come up to the surface, their eyes hurt. Or, as Gumbario says, they're just hip. Yeah, with the kids. Absolutely. Let's hammer this guy up. Hmm? Boom! There we go. I don't know why my first strike only did one damage to him. I was figuring that it would do a lot more than that. There we go. Thank you, Goombario, for doing that. Very good. And we get four star points from that. More steps closer to the next level. Coin, 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 coin. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go down here, actually. Because we have a Monty Mole right here, which I'm gonna try to avoid. Get away from me! So you know what I'm gonna do? He has become a nuisance in my side. Ha! Hey! I said ha! Nope, that didn't work. Oh, we hit him anyway. Actually, just like before when I kicked Cooper into somebody, it wasn't Cooper that hit them. It was my uh, jumping ability that hit him. Because I kicked Cooper, and then as I fell, I ended up falling on the enemy. 
But in any case, you're gonna come over here, you can see this block that we can smash with our hammer, and we have this guy that pops up right here. We love this little blue, um, thing. Waka who? I'm Waka. Just another perfect, picture you perfect on top man rocket. Woo! The sunshine of the air, so refreshing. Waka do! Waka do? Waka who? Waka you! Ha <laughs> ha! Waka ow! Don't hit me! And he disappears. So by smashing him on the head, we get Waka's bump. A bump from a Waka from Mount Rugged. I don't know how this is an edible item. I guess it kind of looks like a piece of bread, and maybe that's what Mario thinks as he's eating it, but apparently it must be it tastes really good, because it restores 25 HP and 25 FP. That's way more than I have right now in either one of those categories, and way more than I'm going to have for quite a while, so definitely want to stock up on those. If you leave the screen and then come back, Wacka will respawn, so you just go up to him, Wacka him again, and grab more Wacka bumps. So. It's a really fortunate thing for everybody to uh, probably stock up on the whack a bumps this early in the game. Come on, Goombario. There's more enemies around here that I'm going to need your tattling expertise on. Oh, very cool. Uh, I can't get this yet. Up here is a nice badge, so just keep that in mind. We're going to get that a little bit later. But up over here, we have a letter slightly out of reach. I should have probably kept Cooper because we're going to use him. To get the letter. Now that you have a letter and you're thinking to yourself, okay, good, perfect, we were able to get Paragary's letter, we can go back and give it to him and move on. No. Paragary actually lost three letters. He is a horrible, horrible postman. So we are going to continue on and collect all three letters before heading back to uh, him. New enemy, new enemy, new enemy. And even with the first strike, I do squat. Tattling away on a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you'd better be careful. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 2. The highest we've seen so far in the game. Their specialty is pretending to be rock, so watch your step on the mountain. You'll get hurt if you jump on the spikes on their head. You know, there's courage in running away sometimes. Bull. None of that now. I don't want to hear any of that crap, Goombario. There is no courage in running away. There is courage in changing a party member to a living explosive, though. I will tank the hit, Ow! and um, you know what, let's actually use my refresh ability, gain back my health, gain back my uh, what is it, uh, flower points and whatnot, and then use Bombette to go ahead and blow that rock thing away. Bomb and a go. There's actually a badge, actually one that I showed not too long ago, that is extremely useful for taking down clefts, but until we have the ability to get it, which we won't have until we get all the letters, Bombat is our number one offensive ability for taking down clefts. And there actually should be another one right here. Do you want to know another trick? First, striking with Bombat. You want to throw her? No, I said throw her. Come on. There we go. And then right before she explodes, run, 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 run. No, crap. Okay, that was a bad example, but there will be plenty more clefts out there for me to show you exactly what it is that I mean to do. Uh, if you try to come down this way, you'll find that there is a uh, path here that you cannot cross, and of course, Monty Mole will jump out from there. Uh, we'll be back over this way later. You probably saw the bubble up there uh, just waiting for us to go up and take its seat. Uh, here we go, another clef. We're going to try this again. Throw. Come on. Throw. Run. Run back. Nope. One, two, three. Get away from me. Go away! Go away! I'm gonna do this once, and then I'm gonna have uh, the right idea about how to do it. Okay. Get to your rock form. We're gonna throw you. Run! There we go! Much, much better. That is the proper way that you need to take those guys down. By, sh by um, chucking br uh, Bombette at them and exploding, and then she will always destroy the first clef in the line. So, remember that. We have another gap right here that we can't cross. Of course, we're going to need a helper in order to do that, but you do want to fall down here. We have another clef. I'm going to try to do this one more time. Ready? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Nope, that didn't work. I waited too long. Yeah, you get back up there now, you jerk. Can I just throw a bomb at? Will she be able to hit him from here? No. She doesn't go that far, so we're going to throw her again. Come on, you! Damn! Well, all the way over here is your second letter. So you don't want to forget to grab this. That's the reason why I fell down here. A letter to Goompapa 
in Goomba Village. Goompapa, I believe, is the Goomba father. So we have Goompa, the grandpa, and Goompapa, which is the father. Very, oh, good away. Very, very interesting names for uh, everybody. Can you go away, please? I do want to kill you, though. I do want you to explode in a fiery, fiery dash. Please work. Oh, man. Freaking curse of the Let's Plays. I'm telling you, my practice one was, run was going so much better than uh, my recording run right now. I was able to hit the Kleps no problem. I had enough FP because now I don't even have enough to do another uh, bomb attack. And it's just it's going crazy. Anyway, as you're walking along, you want to come over here to this like little ledge thing, because as you fall down, we have ourselves another star piece on this uh, wooden plank that happens to be just sticking out on the side of the mountain. And then we want to continue going to the left, past the part where we fell down, to the next portion of, uh, well, it's technically a screen backwards, but now we are up top from, uh, from our previous uh, path. We're going to take our slide and go wee and whoosh over to the other side. Oof! Mario hitting down on the ground, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Come on. There we go. Much, much better. That's how battles are supposed to go, and I'm actually right there at a level. One more battle should do it, and then I'll be able to start bringing up my BP, because that was what I will be doing. Oh, come here. Come here. Go. Bomb back. Go, 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 go. Explode, explode, damn it. Thank you. All right, there we go, five star points, and level five achieved. Of course, as I said before, I will be starting to build up my BP from here on out. Every other level, so now every uh, odd level from here until I hit 30 BP, will be a BP raise. So, with three BP to go, I think I am going to put on... I'm going to put on Speedy Spin, just so you guys can see what it does. And then, for the moment being, I am going to put on D-Down Pound, because this is a perfect thing to fight the Kleps with. Uh, you'll reduce their defense down to zero, and then anybody can hit them from that point on. Don't jump on them, because you'll still get hit by the spikes, but at least, like, Cooper will be able to do damage, and Bob Ant's Body Slam will be able to do damage and whatnot. So, definitely throw that on if, uh, you know, if you can and whatnot. So there we go. So speedy spin. Woo! Look at how much further Mario goes with his spin attack. Uh, as I said in the last episode, I can't carry any more items, and I just leveled up. So I really, really don't need that. So I'm just gonna throw that out of the way. Um, if you want to speed run this game, that is a must-have badge. That will be the one that you need in order to move as fast as you can through the level and get to the end as quickly as possible. This right here is actually a hole. It doesn't look like much as you're walking. You may think it's like actually part of the mountain, but you can walk through it to come up here to find a chest which contains the Damage Dodge Badge. If you do the action command, it decreases Mario's damage by one. There is a badge out there that will just increase Mario's defense to one. So everything will do one less damage, but in this case, if you do the action command correctly and you have this equipped, it'll actually reduce it by two rather than one. So if you're good at the action command, which I am not, uh, I would highly recommend you put that on and it will save you a whole lot of frustration. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Ooh, run away. Throw! Oh, please, me and Jeff together. No, you did not. Throw, 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 throw. Come to the bottom. <laughs> Explode on him! Oh, come on. Are you serious? Stupid clef. Nope, that didn't work either. He's gonna walk away. Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna worry about him right now. I'm sick and tired of trying to bomb these clefts. Of course it happens, you know, when I'm recording and not any other time. Singular coin over there. There's a cleft right over here that I just completely ran past and I forgot was there as well. Good thing I missed him. And a honey syrup. That's great. I don't need this honey syrup. Uh, run past him! We're gonna try... Uh, okay, good. Bomb, 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 bomb. Go, 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 go. Nope, that missed. And I fell. Boink. All right. <laughs> Moving right along, we are now going to take the slide over to another section. And this is actually where our third letter is up here on the, uh, the, the little cliff thing right here. A letter to Colorado. So with all three of those letters in tow, we can now head back to Paracarry with everything that we have and be able to move forward, get the hell away from a Umonti Mole, and I'm going the wrong way because that is where um, a star piece is and all that other fun stuff and the clef is and all that other jazz. So we need to go back this way. 
to the slide, which is right here, which will take us down to the ground floor right there. There's a bunch of monkey moles, so just be careful. They throw rocks at you, them and their stupid long range abilities. And right past here, probably some more Monty's. Oh no, I passed it. He probably was over there somewhere. That's okay. We can go up and talk to Paracarry. So here we go. We're going to talk to him. We're going to give him a letter. Doesn't matter which one you give him. Just give him a letter. And he tells you that's the one. Thank you for finding it. Yay, yay, yay. And now this is where he tells you that he has technically lost two letters. Or two more letters. So there was three in total. Lucky for me, I have found all three. So here's number two. Stupid little flying turtle. And last but not least, number three. And of course it gets all different because this is the last one. The last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost for today. Oh, thank you so much! You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for all your help. Well, you know, whatever. It's whatever you can do. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have to sort of drop some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while flying. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. You know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you can keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. So, we can either take his help, or we don't take his help. In which case, he comes with us anyway, so... Being the nice guys that we are, let's take it. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. And with that, the Paracarry, who I apparently given a voice that sounds like he's going through puberty, joined your party. Press down to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he can't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with Skydive or smash into enemies using his uh, Shell Shock ability. Shell Shot. Now, onward! Oh, but, but hey, uh, by the way, if you wanted to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, alright? So all of those letters that we actually got for him, we can deliver to the person that is on the letter itself. So if you go to your items and your key items, we can go to Merlon, Goompapa, and Colorado. We'll actually see Colorado not too long from now. And you can actually give the letters to those persons, and each letter will give you a star piece or another letter to give to somebody else to give you a star piece. So this is how you get star pieces as well, delivering letters. Lots of very interesting ways to get star pieces in this game besides... Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Besides the standard uh, search and find uh, techniques. There's a lot of hidden uh, star pieces as well, but we can't get them yet because we don't have the means to do such things. Get the hell away from me. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to snag another wacka. Yoink, yes, get the hell out of here. You come back when you have more wackas. I don't need... I don't need this mushroom. This mushroom is actually probably the useless thing in the bunch. And... Oh, Monty Mole, go away. I should probably fight these guys. You know what? I'm going to do some... some. Uh, yeah, good idea. I know I just got Paracarry in my party and whatnot, but I'll show him off in the next episode because we're actually going to be going uh, against... Hold on one second. Let me kill this guy. Get out of here. There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, what we're going to be going up against is an optional boss in the next episode. I'm not going to do it here because I'm kind of running out of time as is, and there's a few things that I wish to collect beforehand. I got another whack a bump I am now going to head down over this way, and we are going to go and collect that particular badge that is up there while avoiding that Monty Mole. We're going to go up here, and we have ourselves a gap, as I showed before. Using Paracarry's ability, we are going to do this, and we're going to fly right across that gap. It's not a long uh, form of carrying, but the gaps in the game are just long enough for Paracarry to be able to get you across. This badge is the Quake Hammer Badge. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or the ceiling. This is the first of a line of badges that I absolutely love. I love the Quake Hammer series. Um, I'm going to take off the D-Down Pound and put on Quake Hammer because this thing will be more than powerful enough to be able to take down the clefts. And I'm going to put on Refresh, uh, Refund, I'm sorry, Refund in case I actually use any items in battle itself. Um, 
Yeah, there we go. That's good. I like it. It's perfect. We still have my speed spin to it. Uh, let me just kind of show you exactly what I mean about the Quake Hammer. It, it's a lot faster to use the Quake Hammer than it is to show off Paracarry's ability, because I can just do this, this, and this. Whoop. Three. Boom! And goodbye, Clefs. That was a six-point easy experience right there. One, two three star pieces a piece, and that'll be enough to power me up and get me close to another level. Actually, I'm gonna kill this guy too, so hold on. Come here! Ow! What's nice about the Power Quake is that uh, it's one less FP than Bombette's ability, so you can kind of equip that and not have to worry about running out of FP as fast. Let's use Paracarry one more time to fly across, and we're gonna talk to this bubble. Talking to this guy, you know, talking to me. I don't see anyone else here. All right, you are talking to me. Very <laughs> dirty bubble Perry, apparently, right here. Uh, talking about flower fields. Speak to the world. Nobody ever notices me. Think I'm just blooming. I noticed you, buddy. I knew you were here. So he gives us our second seed, which is very nice to have. I love it. So that's two seeds down and two to go in order to access flower fields. Not that it matters. We're not going to be able to get that last seed until the chapter before we're supposed to go to flower fields. Anywho, uh, I'm going to actually go this way. We're going to avoid these clefts. I'm going to probably come back and fight them in between episodes. I won't level up. That I'm, I'm only going to show level ups on, uh, on screen, but I'll get as close as I can. The good thing about Paper Mario is that there's really is no random battles. You can openly avoid every battle you come across, and... Worst case scenario, if I'm getting too close to a level and whatnot, I can run away. But if you run away, you actually lose coins, so that's kind of, uh, kind of obnoxious. Let's now fly across. We have this nice little circle of coins. Boom, 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 boom. And another star piece. Just collecting them like wildfire. We'll be at 25 before we know it. I'm flying back across. Let us get out of here. There's a Monty Mole here that I'm just going to basically avoid. We're going to avoid this cleft. And that's going to be it. What we're going to do is we're going to fly all the way over this way, or run, I guess, in this case. Whee! Awesome. And we will climb. Yeah. A lot of things to avoid. Because we're going to go back to that one um, gap area down over this way that we could not pass before. And with Paracarry as our newest partner, he will give us the ability to fly across like so and that's all i'm going to show for right now this is as far as i'm going to walk because in the next episode we will be walking forward and coming face to something whatever it has with the game's first optional boss and a lot of people may not think he's optional but he actually really is you can avoid this thing very easily and i will explain all of that in the next one Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later.